The jerk is where we can put some big fucking weights overhead. Uh, it is my favorite old timey kettlebell lift, although I really love the snatch as well. So I'm gonna do a clean to get it into the rack position. Once it's in the rack position, I'm gonna futz around with my balance a little bit until I'm centered in both the sagittal plane and the frontal plane. So I'm gonna do my clean, back swing, jump and pull into the rack position. Now, before I go, right now I can feel most of my weight and the line of gravity of the kettlebell is toward my left side. I'm gonna shift a little bit to my right so that now my line of gravity is center right above the middle of my stance. I'm also, when I'm in the rack position, I'm not here like I would be in a hard style rack position. I'm laid back a little bit. Abby, thank you. Oh, okay. Hold on just a second. Can you come in here? <laughs> or, I'll, or I'll be there soon. So from here, I'm gonna dip into the heels, keeping my line of gravity central, and then send the bell overhead with a drive, and then it's that same hinge slash squat under that I had in the snatch. Dip, drive, and catch. Now on the dip, I want that to be very slow. Not very slow, slow enough that I don't outrun the bell. So it's not a fast dip, because I don't want to dip out from under it. Slow, hard drive, hinge out from under it. Recover, and park. There you go. I hope these are helpful. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks very much.